In Tasmania, many farmers rely on income from harvesting the native forests on their land. Deforestation from logging is a major cause of global carbon emissions. This project enables farmers who stop logging to earn carbon credits instead. They can sell these to people and companies who want to offset their emissions. So here we are on uh, one of the sites, or, or on a property near one of our project sites, um, and it's a good example of a recent clearing event uh, that's happened, and it's a good example of the kind of practices that still occur on private land in Tasmania, and we're hopeful that with an alternative income, landowners won't have to do this type of thing to make a buck. Well, hi, I'm Emma Boone and I'm from Dungrove Pastoral. Um, currently we're in the central highlands of Tasmania. So we're, I'm from a mixed farming operation. We raise prime lambs, bull sheep and also beef cattle as well. Um, in addition to this we've got the carbon project happening which covers about 7,800 hectares and generates approximately 70,000 carbon credits per annum. Um, the farm has been in the family for about 150 years and I'm the fifth generation to be farming this land. So traditionally the farming operation has relied on income from logging these forests um, but with the advent of the carbon project it's meant that we no longer have to cut these trees down so effectively we're getting you know, commercial value from the forests while still maintaining the ecology and, the, um, and protecting the environment. Hi, I'm Roderick O'Connor. I'm the owner of a property Conival here in the northern Midlands of Tasmania running um, around about 18,000 hectares and 10,000 hectares of the property is in trees and, and native forests and we've been lucky to be able to join the carbon arrangements with three and a half thousand hectares of our commercial uh, native forests. Very pleased to, to go into carbon trading because I just think it fits in with our long-term uh, way of how we're going to manage our forests 50, 75, 100 years out. As a family, we, we have tied up in the land an immense asset and yet I don't think we'll ever realise it. Yeah. And you, you feel unbelievably lucky to have it and yet it's not going to necessarily give you anything other than the opportunity to hand that on to the next generation. You then don't want to mine it. You, you, if, if you manage it properly, you'll get enough from it that you, you allow yourself a lifestyle, uh, a business, and then at the same time it's the exciting opportunity to, to put it into better shape for the next generation. In, in it. So both financially and environmentally. Uh, John and Fiona Cameron of Charlton, Tasmania in Australia. We're really excited about this carbon project because it's going to give us the ability to stop uh, logging our forest, allow the biodiversity in that forest to increase and improve. This pioneering project not only avoids carbon emissions but also protects our beautiful native forests home to threatened species like the wedge-tailed eagle and the Tasmanian devil, and supports farmers who want to manage their land sustainably.